so I'm gonna play the first campaign mission in the beta called Awakening. So, here we go. Welcome back, Underlord. It's been a long time since you were banished to the ether. Let's see how your memory has been affected by that stint in purgatory. This is your dungeon core. Protect it and you live. Fail to do so, as you did last time. And it's back to the ether with you. Your workers are an extension of your dark will. While they have many jobs, their primary use is in excavation. Put them to work by left-clicking and dragging your cursor upon the flashing tiles. Tagged Earth will be excavated by your workers, who will then claim the ground beneath, extending the size of your dungeon. Alright, so basically a little tutorial or so. I'm just gonna take out some of these tiles. This game is really loud. Hold on one second. Once you've added the nearby it. tiles to your dungeon, you can build rooms within it. I suggest you start with a lair. This room provides a place for your minions to rest and recover from battle. Build one by selecting it, then left click and drag across the tiles you wish to build upon. Well done. But see how your gold reserves have been depleted. Command your workers to mine some of the nearby gold uh, by tagging the gleaming tiles. I think that skipped ahead a little bit. I didn't even place the room down yet. They'll continue to fill up their sacks until they're close to bursting. Then return it to your dungeon core, at which point it can be spent on whatever you desire. Your core will store up to 48,000 gold pieces. But if that number sounds pitifully small, or if wealth inspires you. Simply build a vault to store more. Now that you've got a bit of coin in your pocket, you can build a slaughter pen. This room produces scores of micro piglets, a delicacy that will sustain the weak flesh of your minions and fill their bellies with succulent pig meat. Most rooms must be built three by three in order to function properly. However, the lair and vault are effective at any size. I guess just uh, build it in and out here and it's take out these tiles. Then we'll build the uh, slaughterhouse. Slaughter enemy. So, yeah, I think this first campaign mission is really just a uh, tutorial. Basically, get you or you You've discovered with the game. a gateway. Once you claim this portal, minions will begin to enter your dungeon and into your employ. In order to entice them in, you will need to build rooms that will offer them employment or entertainment. The barracks can be used to train your minions. And it will also attract cutthroat gnarlings into your employ. Build one now. And we'll take out this area. And it's going to be a kind of a small room, but whatever. It's just an early tutorial. Bernaling is a vicious fighter who isn't afraid to fight dirty. Well, these creatures are a bit schizophrenic. They're decent skirmishers who will happily charge the front lines of battle. Gnarlings will naturally train themselves in your barracks. 
but if you find them slouching off, you can pick them up with a left click and deposit them anywhere within your territory with a right click. For further entertainment, you can always put yourself directly into their head by casting possession upon them. A nothing has entered your dungeon. Your dungeon has been breached, Underlord. Use Rally to call your minions to any discovered location. Along the way, they will fight any threat to you and your dungeon. Cast a Rally flag upon these specters. Okay, so Rally is auto automatically in your inventory. You don't have to uh, research it as a spell, like in DK2. So I would call it arms. <laughs> in this game, it's automatically there. Well done. Now finish off the rest of these manifestations by casting Rally upon them. Let's see, can I can I pick up this flag? Rally flag. Oops. I guess right click cancels it. I don't like how it's all the way on the right side of the screen, I, I'll end up scrolling a bit, say like that, and whatever. Alright, cast rally on these dudes. Got it. Darlings made short work of those spectres, but see how they still mindlessly follow your command to rally? You can dismiss a rally flag by slapping it with a right click, or by right clicking the rally all flag. Instead of waiting for your minions to return on foot, you can cast recall on them to return them to your dungeon. Remember that the depths are dark and full of terror. Night is dark and full of terror. Got it. Alright, record this dude. That's enough hand holding. I've waited too long to begin my campaign, and now that you're useful, it's time to begin our assault upon Kairos. Oh, that was it? Well, cool. Yeah, well, as I said, it's basically just a quick little tutorial of the game. Um, I don't know if this will be in the full release, but um, it's, I guess this is the beta first mission, so yeah, it was cool, a little intro, showed off some very similar mechanics to Dungeon Keeper 2, so yeah, cool.